Hello and welcome to Healthy Living. I'm Gina Terlizzi, Director of Communications for the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. February is American Heart Month and for many Americans, reducing sodium intake is an easy way to improve your heart health. Today I'm talking to Sarah Worthington, a registered dietitian with the Kansas City Health Department and a member of the statewide Missouri Sodium Task Force. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about sodium and what we need to know. Well, let me just start by saying that we often use the words sodium and salt interchangeably. Um, while they don't mean exactly the same thing, primarily the primary source of sodium in our diets comes from salt. So when we're talking about reducing sodium intake, we're talking about eating less salt. Another key to keep in mind is that Primarily, the reason why we're eating so much salt in our diets these days is not because we're using a salt shaker in cooking or at the table. That actually only represents 15% of the salt we eat. Rather, it's the processed foods in our food supply that since the 1970s have been steadily increasing. So why should we be concerned about this amount of sodium in our diets? Eating too much sodium leads to high blood pressure. And high blood pressure is a major risk factor for stroke and heart attack and can lead to chronic kidney failure. Reducing sodium intake reduces high blood pressure. And because 30% of adults in America as well as in Missouri have high blood pressure, this is something that most people can benefit from by reducing their salt intake. Okay, now you mentioned high blood pressure. What exactly is the link between the two? What the evidence tells us about eating too much salt is that it does cause high blood pressure, but that's not all we need to know. There is something called the sodium potassium ratio. And what that refers to is how much salt we eat compared to also how much potassium we eat. So a diet that's high in processed foods is going to be too high in sodium where if you also are not consuming enough fruits and vegetables, your potassium is low. And when you have too much sodium and not enough potassium, that ratio is actually the real key to creating this high risk for stroke and heart attack. How much salt should we be eating and how much salt are we actually eating? 2,300 milligrams is the amount of salt that most Americans should be eating. And the average amount is actually 3,400 milligrams. Now, for those individuals who are at higher risk, the amount that they should be eating is even lower. Um, that's 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. For those who are adults age 51 or older, or um, African Americans, or individuals who have high blood pressure or diabetes or kidney disease already. Okay, now where is all this salt in our diet coming from? Because I can tell you, at the dinner table, I don't put a lot of additional salt on my plate. And so as I mentioned, really this is not about the salt shaker so much as it is about the processed foods we eat. So when you look at the food supply and it's steadily increasing the amount of salt, it's actually surprising because um, a lot of the foods that are really high in sodium don't really taste all that salty. Mm -hmm. The CDC just released a report in the last couple of weeks that shows that the highest, um, the greatest source of sodium in our diets is coming from breads. Wow. Um, breads, cheeses, salad dressings, pasta sauces are some of the culprits and processed meats. Well, now that we know where this salt is coming from, what can we do to reduce that amount in our diet? So as a dietitian, I start by um, telling my clients to know their recommended limits. Is it 2,300 milligrams or is it 1,500 milligrams per day? and to focus on not only reducing the amount of sodium you're eating, but also to focus on increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables to keep that ratio in line. Um, paying attention to reading food labels and looking for how much sodium is in the foods they're eating and cutting back on those culprits, eating fewer um, cheeses, processed meats, and when eating out in restaurants, requesting low or no sodium options. That is really great information. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. And for more information and tips and benefits for reducing your sodium intake, you can visit health.mo.gov slash showmelesssodium. And as always, keep checking back to health.mo.gov for all your health information needs.